Hey, what's up, guys? MGH here. Welcome back to the Newcastle Football Manager series. As you know, in the last episode, right before we started the game against Arsenal, which we'll be doing in a moment, we made two offers for two players. I haven't said that I'm definitely doing another season, but I'm I'm approaching next season as if I was going to be doing another one, even though I might not. So the options of signings are already there, if that makes sense. So we were recommended to look at Thomas here. We're going to call him Thomas because I've got no idea how to pronounce that second name, which we've now offered a contract to, 40000 per week. He looked to be a very, very good player. And we, we paid his release clause of £2.5 million. And then we saw that Maxi Gomez was available for something ridiculous, 13 million it was recommended. We managed to get him for 13.5 million using instalments. So that's where we are. We're waiting to see what happens there. Of course, we've got this Arsenal game, which means we may well lose and therefore lose this little gap we've got here above Watford. They still have a game to play in hand as well. So it's going to be very difficult. Let's see what their schedule looks like out of interest. So they've got Aston Villa. They've then got Liverpool. They've got Chelsea, Arsenal, Leicester, Everton. I think they'll beat Norwich and Crystal Palace. So actually, they've got a very tough run in compared to us. Or do they? We've still got West Ham, Chelsea, Norwich, Liverpool, Everton and Leicester. So it could be a little bit more difficult than we think. Now, of course, Arsenal are heavily favourites for this game. And of course, they were actually winning the league for a long time this season. They've gone with Mustafi, though, so there's always a chance. Aubameyang up top, they've got Pavon in there, who is worth a ridiculous amount of money. Honestly, Pavon might be one of the best signings you can make in FM19 because you get him really cheap at the start of the season and instantly his value can triple, quadruple within just months. So highly recommend him. But this is my team. You've probably just looked at it already, so I don't need to go through it. We're going to go ahead and go with a passionate. We've got nothing to lose here. Again, I'm clearly just rubbish at talking to my team. Really, really bad at it. But we're playing in blue against Arsenal's red here at the Emirates Stadium. It looks completely not like Emirates, but you get what I mean. Hopefully, we'll be able to win here, but I just, I, I don't know. We're not using the high-intensity 4-2-3-1 that we made. Bellerin's injured. So that's a good start, I guess. They've brought on Chambers. Maybe that's going to help us out. But yeah, I've gone back to my normal tactic because I don't want to be playing attacking football against Arsenal. Not, not really. I mean, attacking maybe isn't the word. I don't want to try and dominate and hit them on the break constantly. I, I want to be defensively solid and then counter-attack. And that's kind of what I'm trying to do here. I think that the players, that's what they're trying to do. They're waiting for a, a, a bit of space to appear. And here goes Maria. And he's found Iheanacho. Go on, just keep going. Oh, Mustafi. That was actually amazing. Well played. Already coming up to half time. And Arsenal are dominating. And they've got a chance here. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> they've literally... They've got lucky twice there in a row. They've been bouncing the ball off my own players. Here's Aubameyang now. And it's wide. Okay, looks like we're going to be going into the break nil-nil. And it's not great, but it's better than it potentially could have been. I was worried we would concede a couple of goals in this first half. But that's probably going to be it. Here's Mustafi to Socrates. Blow the whistle, ref. No, there's still a few seconds here. Don't score just before half time. That would be really frustrating. Mesut on the ball here. Okay, what's the plan, boys? What are you going to do there? The referee's just going to blow his whistle any second and you're wasting time. But I will take it. I think going in at the break 0-0 is, is not too bad at all. Oh, no. Here's Aubameyang. Oh, he's hit the post. <sighs> we got away with that one. Half time here at the Emirates, and we've had one shot on target. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and change tactics here. We're going to go on balanced, and then I definitely want to... I want to be a bit more disciplined here. I want to run at the defence, and also... Um, get stuck in. I want to make make sure we win the ball back. But in transition, this is the most important thing. We'd encounter. I thought I already had that on. So uh, I, that's my bad. I forgot to put that on. So hopefully that's going to make a bit of a difference here with the shape. Winning the ball back and then just getting on the break with my pace. And talking of pace, Aubameyang's in, but he's hit the post again. Oh my god. That was lucky. He's in again. And he's missed again. Well, it was saved this time. Aubameyang could have had a hat-trick by now. That is absolutely unbelievable we've been really lucky that he hasn't scored but it's not too late here's Xhaka blocked the keeper dived like a crazy man but it might have oh, oh just about to say he might have been able to stop a goal but he couldn't and Pavon 
had a feeling he was going to be troubled today. That's his 15th goal of the season. Assist by Meza Ozil and we are 1-0 down. Frustrating because we have defended well. But then again, we've been very lucky when they've hit the post. It, it, it was coming, basically. This goal was coming. Looks like we've got a chance here, though. Oh, that's a pen. He's going to VAR. Mikatarian has brought down Onye Kuru, I think it is. And now we have to wait 10 hours while the referee slowly jogs to the VAR screen. <sighs> what time is it? Come on, get there already. Let's see what happens. My reaction is this is... Well, my gut instinct is that this won't be a pen. But we'll see. Can't even see the referee. He's off screen right now. Here he comes. Is it a pen? I think it is. Is it a pen? Yeah, it is. He points to the middle of the pitch. Like, what does that even mean? Right, here we go. Big, big moment for Richie here. Scored his last pen and... That was quite possibly the worst penalty I've ever seen. What? What was that? Oh my god. Leno had time to literally jog to the corner and, and catch the ball pretty much. Oh my god. Come on. Nothing to lose. Very attacking. This is it. Final moments of the game. We need to win the ball back here off Pavon. Just slide into Ozil. Just, just, just get the ball. I, oh, I can't believe it, man. We're not even trying to get possession here, it seems. And there you go. It's game over. Pavon makes it too. And that means Arsenal go top of the league, which secretly I'm happy about, of course. But it does mean that if Watford win their two games, sixth is gone. For sure, right? And no way are we going to score now. Now nah, the referee's going to blow his whistle. Surely not. Yeah, that's that. Ah, so annoying, man. It's just one of those things. We've lost two in a row now. Actually, we've lost... No, not two in a row. We've lost quite a few games recently. It feels like we went through a period of having really good results, even against big teams. Man City, Man United getting draws against them. But now, all of a sudden, I'm just, I'm just picking up a lot of L's. And it's Aston Villa taking on Watford. So that's pretty much going to be a win for Watford, I would think. Let's see. Please, game, be kind to me. Give Aston Villa a little bit of a boost and beat Watford. Come on. Don't care what Emery's saying. No, Watford has smashed Aston Villa 4-2. Ah, that's, that's bad. Look at this. Maria actually got Young Player of the Month. He had a very good month. Despite some bad results, he was one of the good, the good things that we've had. I really like Maria. He's such a good player. However, some bad news right away. Straight after seeing Maria winning a brilliant award, we then see another one of our young players, Ian Acho out for the rest of the season we'll send him to the specialist but it is a fractured lower leg i mean that's that's unlucky man ah oh, gutted jolington better step up moving on we now have west ham at home and look at our beautiful form here red green red green red green it's been very decent i would say that's not really inconsistent to me getting four games three wins and then a loss it's it's Maybe inconsistent is the right word. I don't know. But either way, West Ham are down in 10th with 44 points. We've got 53 points. Watford are one point above us. We've played the same amount of games. So it honestly could be worse. If Watford actually won all these games, they've been losing quite a few, actually. We would have no chance. But uh, it's still possible. We can still get sixth. And let's go ahead and try and get three points here. Just the one goal in this game, but it was all that we needed. A 1-0 victory. Yedlin in the 37th minute. I'll go ahead and show you the goal right now. It was, uh, it was a decent victory in the end. We didn't play particularly well. West Ham were actually quite difficult to break down. And that's the case when a lot of teams come to your home ground. They just uh, sit back. But Yedlin, very, very good finish there from the right back. And that is a valuable three points. Now, I forgot to update you on the transfers. We were looking at Maxi Gomez and this guy here, Tomas. Now, unfortunately, Maxi Gomez fell through. He wasn't interested in joining Newcastle. Surprise, surprise. Unfortunately, he will be joining another team. I think it was Napoli in the end. Um, but we have got a little bit of progress here on the Thomas deal. We are waiting for a work permit. Uh, and as you know, we've had a couple of problems with work permits in this save. But thankfully, every time we've appealed... They do get overturned and the deal, go. it goes through. Um, I am still waiting to do anything. It, I, I didn't get an email. It's just on this right now. So it might be a case of we just have to wait. 
Um, but as you know, we might not be doing another season, so this deal might not even matter. But I thought I'd update to you either way. Unfortunately, we couldn't get Maxi Gomez. That would have been an incredible signing if we were doing another season. Oh, and just like that, this came up. Literally, this just popped up now. What are the odds of that? I was just talking about it. So we can actually appeal. We're going to appeal again. We've done it. Is it three times we've done it already? So maybe for a fourth time, we'll get lucky again. I, I don't know. I bet you they don't do it. Well, that's a shame. Watford did win their game against Crystal Palace. So again, they go back up into sixth. Uh, they, they do have a tougher run in towards the end of the season here. So I'm hoping they will still drop a lot of points. But the thing is, I think, I think we will too. This is why I think we're going to drop points. Because we have Chelsea, who are actually in pretty strong form right now. They've won their last three games. They are four to six odds on to win this game. So... Yeah, this is going to be a really tough one. I'm going to put a strong team up. We're going to go with our usual 4-2-3-1, but I'm going to play on cautious and hopefully we'll be able to pick up the points. But I don't know if we will. Mishi Bachiwai and Olivier Giroud up top. Bakayoko Kante, Kovacic and Jorginho. And then in the back four, we've got Emerson, David Luiz, Zuma and Zappacosta with, of course... Kepa, the uh, Chelsea manager in goal. <laughs> I can't believe I actually brought that back up again. It's been a while since that moment happened. But either way, here is my team. Jolington, of course, is going to be playing as our main striker for the rest of the season. Iheanacho is out. Cornet comes in for an injured Richie, who couldn't even make it on the bench. Richie could not play at all. Almiron, Onyekuru, Aqua and Longstaff in midfield. Masuaku, Mavropanos, Cher and Yedlin. And then Darlo in goal because Dubravka, although he's back from his injury... Still really should be playing a full game. So he's on the bench. Let's go ahead and get into this game. The pressure is off. It's not though. The pressure isn't off. I want to finish in sixth. We're going to go with an aggressive one. This... No, okay, we can't. Calm, maybe. Um, the recent standings have Chelsea in 10th and us in 7th. No, I'm not going to say that. We're going to go with assertive and uh, I know we're underdogs here. Oh, for God's sake, man. I swear I should just not bother. Look how much space Emerson has. Giroud. And it's 1-0. Just like that. Honestly, they, they switched the play and Emerson was completely unmarked. He had time to run right towards the edge of the box there and whip in a really good cross. And Giroud, ex-Arsenal striker, of course, makes it 1-0. Look at that. I mean, that is actually shocking. Really poor defending. Darlo did all right there, but couldn't he have punched it out of the box, maybe? And now they've got a free kick here. David Luiz takes it. Oh, it hits the roof of the net. Got a feeling they're going to score again here. Kante over to Zappacosta. Cross comes in for Giroud. He's missed it. I'm surprised. Oh, hang on. Oh, no. Mavropanos. He's given away a penalty. He must have held him back. Oh, man. Okay, David Luiz. New Arsenal signing. Scores. Oh, rip top six. I think that's it. I just don't I don't feel like we're gonna be able to do this. Although Watford still have some tough games. I mean it's possible. I just I get so deflated when we concede, man. I need to just relax. It's only 2-0 against Chelsea, all right? We can still potentially turn this around, right? Wait, what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Darlo with the best assist I've ever seen in one of my football manager careers. That was Let's see that again. He absolutely hoofs it, but with precision. That was unbelievable. And Onye Kuru runs through on goal and just bangs it into the bottom right. Well, no, bottom left corner. Brilliant. What a way to get back in the game. We need one more now. And then we're getting a draw. You see, it's always possible, right? We need Darlow to play as Cam, clearly. He's going to get loads of assists. Oh, oh my God. Jolington scores his first goal for Newcastle and Kepper might as well terminate his contract himself. If, if, I'm not going to make the joke. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to make that joke. I'm just not. This was terrible though. This reminds me of the goal that Adrian basically conceded against Liverpool or for Liverpool against uh, Southampton the other day. That was quite similar. Just passes it right to the striker. And that is an easy way back into this game. It's going to be half time. And we're drawing two all with three shots on target and four shots on target for Chelsea. Tell you what, there is a potential here that we can actually do this. We appreciate the efforts, yep. And we're not going to go on cautious. I don't think it was working. We're going to go on balanced. And I'm going to demand more. Come on, team. 
Here comes Chelsea now. Ball comes in for Giroud. Oh, Yedlin. Brilliant defending. Very, very nice indeed. Oh, what a ball. Oh, my God. Masuaku picks it up. Get another cross in. Oh, that's just disappointing. I've just made three changes as well, guys. One of them is Woodburn. I'm hoping Woodburn can make a difference, but it's not looking good here. Oh, Darlo. Man of the match, Darlo. Wow. Oh, look at the space. Yes. Cross it. Jolington's in there. Jolington! Oh, he's hit the bar. Come on, it's not over yet. Mankio, get it back in the box. Oh my God, I can't believe it. If we actually win this game, it will be one of the luckiest results we've had in a long, long time. Why are you... Oh, I see. 300 IQ play. Give it to Darlow. He'll get an assist, right? He'll just whack it up the, up the pitch. Yeah, here we go. Here comes another assist. So now Masuaku has to run and score. Give him another assist. Go on. Don't stop running. No, he's passed it. Come on. Come on. Get a goal. Oh, I think that's it. No ref. Oh, I'll tell you what, though. A two-all draw against Chelsea. Changing tactics at half-time, I think, did make a difference. We were a little bit more dangerous on the break, but we did get very lucky in this game. That second goal we scored, my God. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, that happened. Arsenal just smashed Tottenham 5-0, but they're not top of the league. Liverpool have gone top and they've got an extra game to play as well. That's going to be such an interesting ending to the season. Are Liverpool going to win it or are Arsenal going to win it? We will soon find out. But uh, Watford yet to play and we're level on points. Please lose your next game. Right. Unfortunately, it hasn't happened. The uh, permit, the work permit has been rejected, even though we appealed. So we can sign him, but it does mean we won't be able to use him until we can get a work permit. So we'd have to go ahead and loan him out. Should I do it anyway? Mm, he's a wonder kid. I mean, how have I not heard of this guy before? I don't, I don't know. Should should I? Do, oh, whatever. Let's do it. If we do another season, we will f we will fix this situation. But we've signed him anyway, and uh, we've got ourselves another wonder kid in the in the team. Oh my god, you are kidding me! Watford got a draw in their last game, so they went one point clear of us, and now they've just beaten Chelsea. <laughs> oh my god! Well, that was a big result for Watford. Not that I think they will get into fifth place, but that's made it possible now with just three games remaining. Uh, what can I say? That is just typical, isn't it? Arsenal, by the way, just beat Everton three 0 so they've gone top. And guess who we're playing soon? Not in our next game, but the one after. We have Liverpool. Imagine if I beat Liverpool and enable Arsenal to win the league. That would be amazing. Our match was against Norwich, and we've beaten them 2-1. Onye Kuru and Jolington scoring within the first 25 minutes. They did get themselves a penalty to get back in the game, but that was it. So we'll go ahead and watch the uh, the goals here. We did pick up an inj injury to Fabian Scher. I don't know how serious it is, but he did have to come off. So it's uh, it's not great news. We'll, we'll have a look in a moment. Yedlin, though, beautiful cross low into the box, and Onye Kuru was there to finish with his weaker left foot. Very nice indeed. And then Aqua had the ball on the edge of the box here. Kind of on the edge of the box, I guess. Over to Yedlin again, who really was on fire down that right side. And it was Jolington who gets his second goal. And then, of course, they had their penalty, which we kind of went the right there, right way there with uh, Dubravka, who's finally back, but he couldn't save it. So um, brilliant play from Yedlin, who got man of the match. Two assists, three key passes as well. And super happy to see Jolinton score again. He is stepping up since Ian Acho got injured. But let's see this injury to Fabian Share. It's a whole month. Of course it is. And Onye Kuru. Oh, <laughs> it's never-ending pain, isn't it? It really is. So frustrating. But we're going to praise Yedlin's performance because that was well, well done. Brilliant. So it turns out Arsenal and Liverpool were playing. That is a huge game. It's ended one all here. That would have been an unbelievable win for either team. Imagine if Liverpool won that. That would pretty much mean win. That would pretty much mean they've probably won the league, right? But Arsenal managed to get a draw. I guess you could say Arsenal got the better result there. I don't know, man. It's going to be interesting. They're two points clear of Liverpool, and they have a game in hand. And Liverpool's game in hand is against us. Oh. That's going to be in the next episode, though. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one. It's been really good fun. The next episode will be the end of Season 1. I don't know if I'm going to do a Season 2. 
Um, but either way, I've, I've really enjoyed this series and it's just making me more excited for FM 2020 to come out in November and do a proper series then as well. So thank you for watching and I will see you for the finale in the next episode.